Renzo Piano came from the opposite side of the earth and does it take someone from that far away to see what's sitting here? Unparalleled views to the east and a direct relationship to the Sydney Opera House. It's obviously a magnificent site on the edge of the city. No possibility of being built out to the east. It takes nothing for granted. It's that idea where we pulled in the building, trimmed it in like a sail to make more space at the ground plane. Renzo assessed the site from a sailing boat and at that moment captured it in a sketch. And that sketch was adopted as a logo by the building owners with the sun shining into the winter gardens. It captures the essence of everything unique about the project. Winter garden, um, it's Renzo's term for a sunroom, let's say. It's what we define as a mixed mode space, so it can be fully air conditioned, fully naturally ventilated, or it can be a little bit of both. And so the air conditioning load in the morning when the sun comes up is less demanding. The street literally extends inside the building, and so you feel welcome. Lots of people casually walking in and out, having meetings, looking at the artwork. So we're trying to stitch ourselves into the city in a very natural way. And I think it's the hub of the community in this building. It's that place of chance encounter. So they were some of the things that were absolutely innovative in 1996 when this building was conceived. When you stand in the piazza, well, you're enjoying the stones designed by Kanyasuda, 18 tons each. Kanyasuda placed those stones and called them touchstones. He wanted to make something that you couldn't help but touch. And at the end of the day, a good project, those challenges of time and money cause us to work harder and make the building better, more clear, more succinct. And that's a building that will endure. And I think Aurora Place is a great example of that.